Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powder Toy Nuclear Explosion Lunar Nuclear Reactor Fusion Plant You know what? All these people have their own nuclear reactors. You know what? Let's make our own. Come on. We can make a nuclear reactor. How hard could it possibly be? Okay. Welcome to Nuclear Reactor with Spike. Let's build a nuclear reactor of our own. Uh, so we'll make a quartz cooling tower, right? Very nice. We'll have titanium cooling element go into the cooling tower. It looks like some sort of jail cell. We're holding the plutonium for murder. Okay, and then we're gonna get the titanium. And we're going to connect that, which will carry the heat out, looking very good. And then here, on this part of the line, we will actually do productive work. We will have the actual generation building, which is going to need a hole in it as well. And we will put titanium on the floor and kind of on the ceiling to try to absorb any latent heat. And we're going to need clone again. And we're just going to plop that there and we're going to spawn water below and above it because, God, this is going to be awful. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Um, that needs to go a tiny bit taller. There we go. Bam. Wait, the steam on the bottom is not going to be able to escape. Oh well, whatever. Thinking too much. Okay, so this would have a turbine here, but we're just going to say if steam is coming out of here and the entire thing isn't melting, then we're going to call it a win-win, okay? That's the win-win situation, right? Let's, let's see what happens if we introduce neutrons. Okay, seems pretty tame. Okay, it heated up a little bit, that's okay. It's in a breach containment. It did cause heat to go into the ground, but the titanium heated up and the heat is spreading, so... Hey! It's actually, I mean, okay, it's, it's, it's breaching. All right. <laughs> okay, we kept it stable for a few seconds. Now, let me say, probably the first nuclear scientists had the same issues on the first try. <laughs> okay, well, we are generating steam. Would you look at that? Uh, we are actually getting some power out of it. <laughs> um, no reason whatsoever. Why would we need insulation? All right. Oh, shoot. That was a little bit messy. Okay. All right. We got our insulation. We've got our pits. We're going to get more clone. And we're going to clone two things. At the top, we're going to clone water. And down here, we're going to clone neutrons. Kind of in the middle-ish. And we will surround these. All right see what happens. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. The steam prevents the water from getting to the bottom of the chamber. I mean, once again, we did manage to generate heat. I mean, we're generating electricity and the meltdown seems to be less bad this time. But we still had a nuclear meltdown, so it's not a win, per se, but we're learning. <laughs> it, it could be worse. Alright, here we go. Now we can generate neutrons. I feel like this is still going to go awfully wrong, but we're learning. Alright, so the water is in. The small amount of plutonium is getting hit by the neutrons. 
but they're not doing damage. They're just releasing steam. <gasps> Did we do it? Do we have a stable reactor? How hot is the metal? Oh my god, the metal is actually keeping a steady 150. <gasps> no way! <laughs> I think we did it. I think we made a stable nuclear reactor. Okay. Well, make this pipe out like this way. Because we really don't want this to go towards the city because it's full of like neutrons and radiation. Ah, oh, we're getting a little bit. This is a little bit worrying. The plutonium is starting to kind of coalesce at the bottom. Yeah, how are we going to filter out? Okay, so we need to filter out the neutrons um, because those are going to be kind of an issue. That's basically the radiation leaking out. I believe there's lead. No. No, there's no lead. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a heavy element. We'll use gold because that's that's pretty damn heavy and we're gonna create kind of a maze because the neutrons will get deflected uh, but the steam will find its way through there we go so that should do a good job of preventing oh wow they're still kind of escaping all right more really do they just go through gold do i have to use like titanium all right Okay, let's try it. Let's try titanium. I will build your little houses in a moment, okay? I'll give you guys real estate. It's free real estate because it's right next to a nuclear reactor that's been untested. Okay, there we go. Now we're blocking the radiation. Great. So we have radiation shielding. So we no longer need this to be quite as tall. We are actually generating enough heat to run the reactor. It looks like the actual cooling part for if it gets too hot is functioning fine. And we'll go ahead and build some houses for you guys. Here we go, here's a house. Another house. We'll build Tie & Co over here. Big boy skyscraper have VTech. If you're not a part of the Discord, you won't understand what I'm talking about, which is why you should be a part of the Discord. Oh wow, look at the beautiful, beautiful city. Nothing could possibly go wrong and destroy the entire city. There we go. That's such a happy little city. Alright, we'll put windows... Not XP, but, you know, good enough. I get the joke. Very funny joke. Oh no! Oh god, what it I knew it! I knew this was gonna happen. Oh no! The stuff that had collected on the bottom. Oh. Alright. Okay, this, this one was not nearly as dramatic as the last meltdown, though, and I think we can get away without any serious damage. Okay, let's just fix. It's okay, we had no radiation leakage. No radiation leakage. Just, just a slight code red. <laughs> slight. Slight code red. We're going to make these taller so they capture the plutonium better. This is something I really should have done earlier when I noticed there was a problem, but I was being lazy. <laughs> That's my excuse, alright? I was being lazy. Moment of truth. We have reseeded it. it. Looks like these are creating ice instead of neutrons which kind of ruins the entire power generation thing so we're gonna redo them as well all right let's see what we got now okay got neutrons hitting the plutonium making heat <sighs> they aren't really being all blocked I mean they are being blocked more than they were. A few are escaping, though. 
And I really don't want <laughs> nuclear waste escaping. Um, we can try putting more of these layers at the very end. I mean, I guess there is an amount of radiation that is okay to let out. You're never going to get all of it. <sighs> Alright, this seems to be working. Um, we may actually be making too little heat. I think we have to ramp it up a bit. Please? <laughs> I ask nicely. Okay, there we go. So that'll react. Oh, that reacted a little bit too much, but that's not the end of the world because it's actually handling the heat. It's handling the heat. It's not handling it the best, but it's handling it. Oh, is it actually working? I mean, there's a lot of buildup down here, which we don't want. So let's go ahead and fix that and fix the leak in it because that could lead to a meltdown. But I think this is actually working. There we go. Plugged it. It jumps a little bit. Oh, I accidentally deleted the water thing. That's why. Meltdown is that? This doesn't look like a meltdown. This is fine. Get a lot of water here because this one just keeps giving us trouble. There we go. No, this this looks good. It seems pretty stable. The right one isn't really running, but honestly, these two chambers are enough. We're getting this, it's at 200 degrees. This is actually the most power we've been able to generate from it. This one is getting a little bit too hot though. And it melted down. Oh, <laughs> after all that, the central one is still working though. Um, 700 degrees. The insulation starting to burn away. Oh, there goes the center chamber. And there goes the right chamber. Oh, and now this time it's actually leaking to the left towards the power generation area, which isn't towards the city, so that's probably better. It's probably better. Alright, guys. We, we have spent quite a while trying to get a nuclear reactor up and working. Here's the results. We made some progress. I'm learning. Uh, I think if we try this again in the future, I will be able to make something that's at least stable. I really do suggest you download the powder toy. It's a free game. Join the Discord as well. I'm gonna put the, dis the link literally in the description or in the chat right now. If you don't join the Discord, then you are missing out on an entire community, and government, and economy, and like, so many things you wouldn't imagine. It takes one second to join and then you will lose your entire life to it. Thank you all for watching, we'll be doing more Powder Toy in the future, it seems like you guys absolutely love it, so I will continue doing it and I will see you all next time. I want to see your nuclear reactors in the Discord, show me what you can make, show me what you learned, Give me some tips and we'll see you all next time. Peace out.